Hello everyone, my name is SoulBC, and this video is about Thor's new idols in Skyrim, as well as Nemesis. I'm not going to go into detail about the installation, uh, however, on how to use them and how to properly, you know, well, <laughs> use them essentially, whether you're using it in Vortex or Mod Organizer. Now, Vortex, again, as I said before in many videos, it is a very simple tool uh, to organize your mods, and you can really just add the executable here, so like... For example, this one was actually automatic. You can actually hit edit and we'll find the directory. So find it and it'll be up here. I don't have it installed anymore, which I'll, I'll do that right now, but you will need to use this for many mods. So what I'm saying is, is that you will need to use this fours or, or FNIS or Nemesis if you install a new mod in, in terms of animations. And if you watch the previous top tens, then you will know the video was all about animations. Uh, animations are very cool to have. They're very interesting to implement into your game and they'll make the game much more pleasing. So with fours, you know, if you go to the file, right? You would go to the files and then download the VR version. You need the VR version specifically. We're gonna go ahead and run it. So if I hit edit and find a new executable, because I don't have it installed, as I said before. Skyrim VR, or Four's new idols, open, tools, users, and then the file for that. Apply, okay. So I wanna enable it, remove the SE version. Once you can go ahead and reinstall it, there's the data, set as data directory. Sometimes I won't read it. And then enable it, enable, enable, thank you. And then run it. It will generate. Right there, you go, and this window will pop up. Okay, now there are times where you have specific animations, like the gender specific animations. You'll have to take that if you have a specific animation for a specific gender. Uh, well, in most, in some cases, it's not very drastic, and as well as the skeleton arm fix. And then once you have the things you need ticked, you just hit update FNIS behavior, and it will do its thing. Install FNIS, FNIS PCA2 and all that stuff, and there you go. It will do its thing. It'll spaz out my 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 desktop, I guess. Once it's done, it'll either show up with warnings or whatever, but you'll pretty much be done. And then you hit exit, and you can add a shortcut if you want to. However, I want to mention with Four's new idols in Skyrim for VR, it there is like a like something that messes up the werewolves in the game so you want to go to your actors i think, actually I think it's meshes and actors meshes actors uh werewolf beast character assets and then reveal and explorer there will be a different file there will be another file the dot nif file and once you have that there you want to delete the NIF file because it will mess up your left hand with the werewolf form. I don't know why it does this, but they didn't fix it and it's kind of a pain, but that's how you fix that. And that's how you really use FNIS. Now, I've stated before that you can use FNIS and Nemesis together. You technically can, yes. Um, so you just close it and just disable the fours and just keep the data. So all you really need to do is just keep the data and it will work just fine. And you can uninstall fours if you want to. With Nemesis, it is a two-parter. So, you know, so here's the PCAE2 version of the mod, which you need. You would download it like how you would like normal mod and install it in your mod manager. Basically, go to Nemesis, PCAE, and there you go, it will install there. Another, another thing you need to download the Nemesis engine, and you would just go to the assets on the file and just download that. And then install it, just install it like a mod, essentially, and it will work. And again, it will. you can do the same thing with the executable here, just find it, add it, edit, find the executable, launch it, and you can run it right here. Uh, I have it in Vortex, however, or Mod Manager, Mod Organizer, however, so I'm gonna go here, 
go to my nemesis ultimate behavior engine or behavior and unlimited god you know what i you know what i mean hit run and it will run the file and if you do have a um uh, antivirus software on your computer it will probably won't pop up you'll have to enable the file to you know, bypass the, the software or the the antivirus this might entail to modernizer itself and not nemesis so if your antivirus affects your nemesis or your executables through mod organizer you will have to again allow it to bypass the the uh virus antivirus to separate your animations you would need to first off make a new instance or new or new mod create empty mod name it uh, nemesis output for example which i already have one created uh, so nemesis output right so and then you want to obviously enable Nemesis. Right click it, open it in Explorer, right? Which I already have one. It'll show like this. Go to your meshes, actors, character, animations, ECAE. And then you want to create a new folder. And I'm going to do a two uh, smooth uh, casting. So you, you do have to number these to make them work. So one, two, three, four, you know, all that stuff. So this is my JH com combat animations pack and it will work that way. Smooth casting. Uh, let's find smooth casting, right? Smooth magic casting and open it in the Explorer, right? Meshes, actors, character, animations, dynamic image, or well, you can just hit control C right here. And then go to the animations of the, if I can find it right here, you just paste right there and it will work this way. And basically this is now separated. And if I want to toggle it, I can just toggle it and I can do the same thing with a uh, smooth staff animation. So smooth staff animation, open and explore meshes, actors, character, animations, play, copy, and then go back over there. That's not the right one. I got a lot of these open. I should probably close these right here. Staff animation, paste. And once you've done that properly, you know, you would open your Nemesis engine and then select what the ones you need to patch, update the engine. You always have to update the engine so you can't get around it update engine and once you have unlimited engine behavior engine open it will look like this and you will have to select the mods that you have enabled uh, some won't pop up like sky sa was not here when i did not have it installed but when it installed it popped up you would hit the check mark and just hit update engine and launch the behavior engine and it will load all the all the stuff so here we go a pca mod for uh, our regular animations the combat animations, the smooth casting animations, the smooth stamp animations. It'll load all these mods. It also loads the skeleton, if you have the skeleton, which you need for mods. And then it will generate, and these are warnings from a, an old file that I didn't take the time to delete, but it will work just fine. And now it's loaded, and it took 32 seconds to do it. And that is it. That's pretty much all you're gonna do with that. You just close it and you're good to go. You're, you're gravy. You're gravy, baby. That's all you gotta do with Nemesis. It can be tedious, but it is very fairly simple. Also, I did want to mention that you do not need to have them enabled on the left panel uh, if you do it that way, the Nemesis way. So you can just untick these if you have, if you did it the Nemesis way in terms of adding the animations through Nemesis. You don't need to have it enabled at all on the left panel because Nemesis will run those animations regardless. So just to point that out there, I forgot to untick mine. So <laughs> that's all I got to say. And back to past soul. <laughs> and if this helped you in any way, shape or form, again, leave a like and bottom of the video as well as the comment and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of more future videos from moi whether it is top tens funny moments or other vr sh <laughs> uh that is all i have to say i hope you guys enjoyed it once again and one last thing is to keep your soul free